With only a week before the season begins, we have an event on our hands. This doomsday event could be huge, and here's why. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. I just made a TikTok account, so go and check it out in the description right now. Fortnite's doomsday device event is almost upon us, but what actually is going to happen to the battle royale game we all know here is everything we know so far so with the season almost ending we have got a pretty exciting thing to look forward to an event to shape off chapter 2 of season 2 going into season 3 so the event in the waiting centers on the device that has been constructed by Midas in the pre-game menu other clues have involved hatches popping out of the water outside the agency with bubbles and smoke appearing around them. Here is everything we need to know about what is happening with this event. The device event was supposed to happen on June the 6th. Epic Games put another delay on the conclusion of the season 3 before it could go underway. So the actual date of the event should finally happen on June the 15th at around 7pm UK time. 2 p.m. EDT, 11 a.m. PDT, and 8 p.m. CEST. If Epic keeps that time, then it will be scheduled for June the 15th, so we shouldn't have to worry about another date. Here is a photo of what like a leak has been set so far. What do you guys think about this? I think it looks pretty cool. We've got a pink thing at the bottom with something that looks like it's going to go into it. Maybe this could be actually underneath agency. Please let me know what you think is going to be happening. Players found mention from the character about a device that appeared to link in the hydro dam before that location was even ever in game as you can see this is a hydro dam so underneath agency or to the sides of agency you get those hydro dams that were near the water this is what is believed to be underneath it so will the fortnite map actually be flooded after this um, device event the fauna map um, flooding has been a common suggestion from players after there have been claims that the new season will revolve around water. And actually, I do believe that there, there could be a flood because I've made a few videos on it before in the past, last season actually. So um, that could potentially be happening. PlayStation actually leaked the new icon for the new Fortnite season. This was probably by accident without adding it, or maybe it was part of a um, kind of deal that they had to make with Fortnite Battle Royale Epic Games themselves. How to actually watch the event for the device event. As with any other event that we've seen so far, you can load into a game with your friends or with anyone you can choose. And you should be able to see what is happening around the map while an event takes place. Streamers across the world, including me, will be live streaming on Twitch and YouTube and other platforms across the globe. So you should be able to check that out if you do miss it, so you shouldn't miss anything. But check back close to June 15th to find all proper ways to watching the event and they might be able to update you with what's actually happening. So that's actually everything we have for this video. Um, if you guys haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe. This is just a really quick video explaining the things that you need to do and stuff like that. So I'm actually going to be explaining what's going to be basically taking place. So we actually have a loading screen. This loading screen shows henchmen fighting in agency, maybe defending it or maybe even attacking it. No one knows as of now. This event could be really exciting and I hope that this event changes Fortnite as much as it could can do because at the moment it seems quite dry and I feel like if there is a change, maybe this event can actually do that. Thank you for all watching this video. Make sure to check out my TikTok, my Twitter, my Twitch and all my other social medias in the description down below and feel free to watch my other videos and this is what's going to be happening. I'm not the biggest person when it comes to theories. I will actually be making more theories like the shorter theories on TikTok. So if you do go and check that out, my TikTok is yt.risingfx. So if you do decide to check that out, that'd be awesome. And we're trying to get as many followers as we can. So thanks for the amazing support in the last few videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.